stop, stop. Like, I'm re I'm shocked, you know? She in. Hit my line. Let's just get into it. Okay, let's just get into it. I have her right here. She's been sitting in my room for like three days now. Yeah, and I really wanted to open it like as soon as I got it. I really wanted to start filming everything as soon as I got it. But I had a bunch of stuff to do. I had to get some schoolwork done. Your girl trying to graduate, you know, she's a scholar or whatever, you know. Anyway, so yeah, I'm all caught up in my homework and everything. So here we are, we finna open it. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Let's just go ahead and open her. But let me tell let me tell y'all first. Let me tell y'all what I think. I'm not gonna get my hopes up, you know, this is she in. Let me tell y'all what I think though. I feel like it's gonna be all right, but I do feel like it's gonna be thin and I do feel like the end's gonna be like see-through thin type stuff going on, you know what I'm saying? So that's what's already going on in my head right now. It has the potential to have those flaws there, but um, if it doesn't, then that's just great. But yeah, that's what I think it's gonna be. Let me tell y'all what I got first before I open it. Ooh, girl, I'm scared. Y'all gonna have to see me. Y'all that voted on this wig, if this ain't right, y'all gonna have to see me. Y'all owe me $253. You need to leave. Yeah. So this is the 13 by four lace frontal, 150% density, long straight, 613 wig in 28 inches. So I got the longest that they offer because just in case they had like the whole issue with the ends and I had to cut it off some, then, you know, I would still be okay with the length. You know, it wouldn't be too short for me, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's go ahead and open it. Ah! What if I just cut the wig? Video over, cut the cameras. So let me take it out the bag. I know I feel my unboxing. Should I film it like that? Or should I just open it like this? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open it like this. So here it is. She's looking a little thin already. 28 inches right there on the bag. Do not play with me today, she in for real. All right, so it's inside of a hairnet. That's nice, you know, stuffing, okay. And boom, here she is, y'all. It look like a good size, though. Hold up. You know, I be struggling with these wigs being too small, but hold up, okay. So this is what she looks like, 28 inches. The ends do seem a little thin, but like I said, I was kind of expecting that. Here go to construction, 13 by four lace frontal. It's got three combs in the front, a comb in the back, and an adjustable strap. It looks pretty roomy in there, too. This is the hairline. I don't know if y'all can see see but that's how the hairline is looking we gonna pluck her though we gonna get this wig together because even if the ends are thin we gonna get this together like i done spent my money on this i'm finna wear the hell out of this we gonna do this right so and i'm gonna take y'all along with me the whole process the whole dyeing plucking toning the knot styling all that everything got i only got like a strand that's done come out so far so let me try her on though because um you know the whole big head problem so yeah let me try her on i'm gonna just take this off this ain't even glued down y'all just gotta sit up here so i look like somebody when i got on this camera but yeah <laughs> all right y'all let's see i feel like it's a good side though watch me be wrong it's hit okay i think we'll be able to work with it it is pretty thin i can't see this lace is long yeah it is pretty thin like thin but it is 150 i prefer 180 and above this is thin as I don't like that. Like, it is so thin. Like, this is literally all the This is all the hair. What is this? Ugh, whatever. Look at the ends. Like, it start getting see-through, like, right here for real. It start getting see-through right up in here. I don't want to cut it. I got 28 for a reason. I'm finna cut them out, for real. We still gonna slay it, though. It's thin. It's all get out, but... Anyway, I guess what I'm gonna do now is tone it and dye it. So I'm gonna bring y'all with me to do that. I'm gonna use the purple shampoo, shimmer light shampoo. Oh, got some strands, so it shouldn't. I'll figure out the color that I'm gonna dye it when we get there. I think I'm gonna use platinum by door and blue black, but not a whole lot of blue black. I don't know, we'll see. All right, y'all, so I got my three buckets right here. So I'm gonna tone it with the shimmer light shampoo. I wanna get the conditioner, cause I heard people say that um, they like the conditioner, the shimmer lights conditioner better. But yeah. I'm I'm using the shimmer light shampoo in the big bucket to tone the hair to get the yellow out then we're gonna come over to this bucket and i'm gonna put this color here in that bucket platinum by a door and then i don't know how i want to do like the ombre and i don't know i got blue black by a door so um i don't want it to be super dark maybe i should just use a little bit of it i don't know um how i'm gonna do that over here but we'll figure it out i also got j by a door too this like bluish color so i might mix a little of that i don't know we're gonna figure it out when we get over there yeah that's what we're gonna do so got my wig so yeah let's just go ahead and get started got my gloves on and 
something to mix with. I got these buckets from Dollar General, by the way. I thought it'd be easier like for stuff like this when I do like ombres or stuff where I need to um, like dip the hair multiple times, then I need multiple buckets. So I don't have to keep dumping out the water in one and refilling the bucket and all that there. We just have three buckets of water and get this thing over with. But yeah, I'm just mixing this up. So let's go ahead and dip it in. I hope that's enough in there. I think it is, you're gonna see. Girl, it's turning the hair gray already. Look at that. I was not trying to do all that. I was just trying to get it, get the yellow eye. What's happening? But anyway, it's fine. We're gonna move on to platinum. We're down in gray anyway, so. I had bought platinum by Adore, and you know they have titanium by Adore too. They're both like silver shades. I bought both of them, but this one has like more bluish undertones. And because I was going for like a cool bluish type thing, I decided to go with platinum. I'm gonna just start with that and I can build it up if I need to because I really don't know how this is supposed to work. I've never done this shade before, like silvers and stuff. So I really don't know what I'm working with right now. So let me not go overboard before I screw it. It's still like blonde up in here. Why is it so blonde up in there? I don't even know if I should do the blue black cause I can't tell about this. See all these streaks in here that just aren't taking? We'll see, we'll see what it does. I feel like that's good. Like it's not super dark at all. It's not too dark. All right, so before I go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and tone the knots and I'll show y'all how I do that. Y'all see how I saw how patchy up in there? Like, anyway, so I'm just gonna spray the hairline with got to be. So to tone the knots, I'm using Wella Color Tango hair color in 7B and 7 double N. And I'm using equal parts of both with 30 volume developer. And I'm gonna leave that on for like five minutes. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for five minutes and then we'll wash it off. It's, you apply it just like you bleach knots and then just wash it out. So y'all, I actually thought I washed, oh, what is that? I washed the hair out. The knots turned out fine. The knots are like kind of a brownish, as you can see, that was the point of like toning the knots. But this here, these patches and stuff, I don't like that and they don't look right. So I'm gonna just dye the whole thing, this color right here, the blue black. So I'm finna redo it again, watercolor, and just do the whole thing blue black. I'm 
my camera finna cut off y'all so if it die i mean if this clip cut off my camera died I'm gonna have to redo the knots too because they're dyed back blue. So I'm gonna go over that again. Same process. I swear stuff gonna go dye. I ain't never had this problem with watercolor in here. But of course, as soon as you be all excited by the video, this one stuff go wrong. So it's, it's still a little streaky, but not as bad. Like it doesn't, it's not blonde, it's like blue. Like everything is blue now, so I can work with that. Cause before I could not, that was not given at all. All right, y'all, so this is what we have now. This is the color I ended up with right here. So yeah, it looks fuller. Like um, I let it air dry. It looks fuller like when you wash it or whatever. But when it's all pressed down and stuff, this was thin. Yeah, I actually really like this color, even though I wanted more so this color towards the end and it to be gray up here. But like I said, it was like all patchy and stuff. You can still kind of see like the lighter areas, but it looks better than, way better than having blonde streaks up in there. So yeah, it just kind of looks like it's just little light blue areas in here so yeah so now we're gonna pluck her and get her together this is not a plucking tutorial so i'm not going to be explaining that i'm just going to be doing it Okay, she's all plucked. So I think I'm gonna flexi rod it and then I'm gonna install it. Okay, so don't mind my wig yet, y'all. But the goal is to get like these big voluminous curls, like bouncy curls. And I've done flexi rods before. And the thing about flexi rods, the reason I'm doing flexi rods is because they hold. Like them heat curls don't hold for me. But when I did flexi rods, I did it with just a lot of body, like the mousse foaming wrap type stuff. And then just wrapped around the flexi rod. Them curls lasted for like two days. I want to wand curl it and then like wrap around the flexi rod but like when i put the mousse on the hair the last time i did flexi rods i set it up under the dryer i have a hooded dryer so i put it up under the dryer so you know it like dries that way so like that's what made the curls last so i feel like i'm scared that if i only curl it and don't use the foam wrap that it's not gonna hold like it did when it like it dried with the foam wrap on it like that under the dryer so i feel like what i want to try is put a little bit of foam wrap on the hair to make it damp then wand curl it then wrap around the flexi rod and then put it under the dryer when I'm done and hopefully that'll work for some reason I feel like I'm just gonna screw it because that's just what happens to me we're gonna try that we're gonna see I'm out a lot of body so I'm gonna use the Nairobi foam wrap so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna part off the frontal from the tracks and then we'll start sectioning off to curl it
Okay, so we got the frontal section off, as you can see. So now we're gonna start from, it see, it looks so much fuller now. Like, I'm excited now. Um, after I watched it and stuff, you know. I don't know, y'all. She may have done something. I'm starting to get excited again. Because at first I was a little mad because of how thin it was. Then I got mad by the color. Because I wanted this color to be at the bottom. And then silver at the top. But it wasn't working out that way. But anyway, we're going to section off. I'm trying to count how many tracks I go before I do another row. So let me see. One, two, three, four. So what? Uh, We'll do like every four tracks and section off a row. Might do five tracks, let me see. I think we'll just do four, every four tracks. Boom, like that. So start with this section and then we'll part off another four tracks. I hope this mousse wand curl dryer thing works because I really want these curls to hold because I want to have time to take pictures, film my TikTok, all that. So we're going to see. Ooh, my camera battery finna die. Let me change my battery. I'm praying this work, y'all, for real. I got my bag of flexi rods. Should I like run the hot comb through this just to get that a little bit straighter? I'm scared. Where's my clip bag? See stuff all the time wanna go missing when I need it. So foam wrap, just a little bit, just to get it damp. Then I'm gonna put my wand curling glove on and take the hair. All right, y'all, so boom, we got the method going. It's going fine so far. So I'm gonna keep doing this and then I'm gonna put it in the dryer and then I'm gonna install her tomorrow. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep showing this or I'm gonna just speed it up because I really don't see the point. Y'all probably don't wanna sit here and watch me do this throughout the whole thing anyway. Uh, I'll just do a time lapse just in case that's just satisfying to some of you to watch it all come together or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, if you don't wanna watch it, you know, time lapse of me doing this, you are welcome to skip to whatever. I I'll try and do um chapters and that what it's called a little chapter so you know like what i'm doing and what part of the video i think i'm gonna do that so if you don't want to see this you can skip to the next chapter but if you are still here comment this emoji this emoji right here so if that mean you know i know who's still here
All right, y'all, we done made it to the front. So this is what the back looking like. We're all neatly and nicely flexi rotted up. So yeah, now we're gonna do the frontal. Probably gonna take about five or six more flexi rods to do the front and we'll be done. And then I will see y'all for the install. Okay, so I got my little side part section off. Hopefully it's right. If not, I'll just fix it when I install it. But yeah, so let me do these two sections right here. Really can split this in two. All done. So I will see y'all tomorrow for the install. Y'all, I'm praying this come out right. Y'all saw how I was tussling with that wig, trying to get it past the cap, you know? So I'm really hoping when I take this elastic band off and cut this lace off, it's right. Cause that's the only thing I'm stressing right now.
All right, y'all, so I'm gonna do my makeup real fast. I was gonna do some edges on it, but it's kind of hard to with the flexi rods in it, so I might try and do that later. But it doesn't look too bad. Just need to put a little makeup on it probably, but it don't look too bad. So um, I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna take pictures today. So I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm gonna take pictures and then I'll show y'all the outcome. Then I'm gonna run and take pictures before the sun go down because it's 3.28, you know, sun go down about four o'clock now. So it say sunset at 5.30. No, it say 6.30, but they be Line because it be dark at like 5 30 you know so yeah i'm gonna do my makeup real fast i'm gonna go to my granny's house which is down the street and take my pictures over there because she has a nice little background so okay ah! y'all she in she in might have did something like it's actually coming out good um the only issue i had was we well, all hear that in the review why am i telling y'all that goodbye Okay. Ah! Oh my God, it's so cute. Stop, why does it look this, stop! Why does it look this good? Uh, stop, stop it right now. Y'all, look at it, look how cute! I did that. Stop, stop. Let me pop some Concealer Seal in the part. Stop playing. I ain't never had no wig come out this good. Oh my God. Ah! Put my necklace on now, cause I couldn't get it over them flexi rods. Ooh, y'all just wait till I post these pictures. You just wait right there. Where my earrings? Cause yeah, get into it. You look good though, man. You look cute. I wanted to show you. Look, y'all, I put my nails on. Ooh, I'm gonna go take pictures. But look how good it turned out. Oh my God. Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna take pictures and then I'm gonna close out the video and we'll be done. All right, y'all, so I am back from taking pictures. I changed out my dress. I didn't mean to do that either cause I had finished the video I forgot but I'm not putting it back on so y'all just have to accept me in this t-shirt but um I actually ended up brushing out the hair a while ago I didn't brush it out for the picture and everything just in case I messed it up or something I didn't want to mess it up but um I brushed it out didn't it turn out so cute it looks so good I'm so happy with it like for real yeah so really I would say I know I usually wait a few days to give my review I love this color I think this is a perfect like winter color you know for the colder months getting like cool tones you know what I'm saying so I really like it um I know I usually get my review after a few days, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it now while it just looks this good. Cause I feel like it's not gonna look this good in a few days, but, and I'm not gonna feel like recurling it. So I actually really like it. Like I'm re I'm shocked, you know? Now it was super thin when I took out the bag. Y'all saw that part um, when I tried it on, it just seemed so thin, but like it seemed so much fuller. Like when I washed it and it air dry, it just seemed so much fuller. I showed y'all that too. And then when I curled it, of course, it's like these big voluminous curls. Like it just, all that went away. And I'm just really surprised. The only issue I had though was the size. Um, and at this point, I don't even know if it's my head anymore. I know I have a big head, but at this point, I feel like it's these companies. They're not making these hairlines low enough on these wigs. Like, why are y'all's hairlines so far back? Like, I be having to pull it to get it to pass my hairline. And I be like, What's going on? Like, I don't I don't get that. I, I really feel like it's them. I don't even feel like it's me no more because the amount of times I have issues with that and it's like, my sister had started saying the same thing like recently that it's like the hairlines don't be low enough. Like they be too far back or something, at least on the sides. It's always the sides that give me issues. This area right here, never a problem, but the sides be like, like the, the hairline ain't low enough. So that was my only issue was the sizing. Y'all saw how thin it was in the beginning and the ends and everything on the hair, but you also see it now. So I'll let you make that judgment call it what you wanna i really don't know because it was super thin like when i took it out the bag but like now it's like look how it's like so full like look at all this so you do with that what you want to but i'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 just for the sizing if that wasn't an issue it would be a 10 out of 10 but y'all she in hit my line you know if you want to sponsor the kid for a wig video you know here i am y'all see i did the out of this one so 
you know but yeah so y'all go follow me on tiktok too Alyssa.Jalise. i made a tiktok of this this is my first time like doing an actual tiktok a lot the tiktok that i already have on my page um it's like videos that be in my camera roll and i just let it auto sync like to the music or whatever so this is my first time doing a video like recording it on tiktok and everything like that doing the transitions i feel like i did really good for my first time so y'all can follow me on tiktok you want to see the um the transformation so yeah y'all what y'all think like i know i did that like i i did that what y'all think what y'all think of how i did on the install the color the style even though the color wasn't what i was originally going for i actually really like it like this like see how things work out you know but yeah i don't have nothing else to say like look at it, you know look at it so yeah that is it for this video make sure you check out my website whoshebeauty.com where i sell my lashes my big blinks which are my 25 millimeter lashes and my baby blinks which are my shorter lashes for my natural girls these are a pair of the big blinks the new big blinks will be on the website the other ones will be discontinued that are currently on there and these new ones the fluffy series will be on there this weekend so y'all be on the lookout for that i'm wearing one of the pairs right now okay per so go shop my lashes i also sell lip gloss that i make myself all scented you can shop my lip candies which are my tinted glosses i have juicy watermelon which is a red tint georgia peach which is a peachy tint and cocoa kisses which is what i'm wearing right now which is a brown tint all stain it all very moisturizing you're not gonna find other lip gloss like it i also have clear gloss i have strawberry kiwi which is a regular clear gloss and diced pineapples which is a clear glitter gloss i also sell bags i have crystal money bags i no longer have cool tip mini bags i sold out of those and i'm not restocking them so those are gone i have spring mini bags though i have rhinestone face mask covid is not gone stay masked up i also sell press-ons i make myself you can shop any of the designs that i have on my website or you can do my business page on instagram who she beauty and we can discuss a custom order over there i do accept custom orders i also sell handmade velvet do-rags i sell jewelry necklaces anklets i sell sweat sets and i sell lash tweezers if you have trouble applying your lashes this is what you need so after you get your lashes from me get you a pair of lash tweezers on your way out but um yeah that's everything so yeah check out my website whoshebeauty.com link in the description as well as my business page on instagram that is it for this video hope you all enjoyed this she and wig review that y'all been waiting on don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel please and thank you and make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when i post because you don't want to do that you don't want to do that. So make sure both locations are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.